Great race. This is going to be Jenny Egan. This is uh, one of our Olympic events, the K1 Women's 500. And yet again, we get to see an international superstar. There she is, lane five, Lisa Carrington. But I tell you what, I am really looking forward to the race with her New Zealand teammate, Amy Fisher. There's a backstory there. Amy Fisher stepped away from canoeing, had a fallout within the uh, New Zealand team, basically didn't compete anymore. Turned up in Copenhagen after Tokyo, became a world champion. And ever since then, uh, her and Lisa Carrington have been racing against each other for the right to represent New Zealand. And the racing has been very, very close. Mention Elise Wood, how great to see her back. She's been off, had a baby. She's come back. This is her first big international event since having a baby. And she looks stronger than ever. She'll give this a real shake. She sure does, along with um, Melissa Novakovic, also back after having yes. a baby. Wow, yes, indeed. So what a great what a great race. Now, here we go. We're underway. So there is Lisa Carrington. She has dominated this sport for a long, long time, especially the 200. And look how powerful she's going out very early. She's saying to Amy Fisher, well, if you want to come and race on the big stage alongside me, you better have your best form with you. Lisa Carrington taking it out straight away to the lead, as she often does. Can anybody stick with her? That's the big question. Lisa Carrington in the middle of the field. Elise Wood in lane two looked like she had a very good start as well. Uh, Emma Jorgensen, who has, is very familiar with the side of the back of Lisa Carrington's head over many, many years, is trying to chase down the New Zealander. I haven't seen where Elisa Bull is yet on the, uh, on the big screen. I'm imagining that she will be up there. She's a very powerful paddler. Elisa Bull, there she is there coming through. But it's Jorgensen second. Amy Fisher now starting to pick up the pace. It's going to be a big call for her, though, to try and uh, haul in the leader. But uh, it's the race for second already, I think, that we're looking at here because Lisa Carrington is looking very strong. Amy Fisher picking up the pace now. She's drawn alongside Emmy Jorgensen. Uh, Alice Wood uh, in the lane two is also having a very good race at the moment and would have her sights on a medal. But it's Lisa Carrington in front. Amy Fisher is slowly pulling her in. I don't know there's enough water left, though, for her to pip her New Zealand team out. In fact, Carrington picking up the pace again now. So it's Lisa Carrington in the middle of the field. Yet another gold medal coming her way. But look at Amy Fisher coming home. It's a really strong race Very strong from finish. the young New Zealander. So really coming alongside her. Now look at this, folks. Lisa Carrington holding on. Amy Fisher throwing everything at her. It's Carrington in front. Fisher trying to get to her teammate. She's He's not going to get there, but gee, wow, that is the closest finish that Lisa Carrington has had in a 500 for a long, long time. And it's come courtesy of her New Zealand teammate, Amy Fisher. And Emma Jorgensen holding on, as she so often does, so determined for the bronze medal. But gee, Amy Fisher, that was a very strong finish. That was some finish, finish Ross. Um, and yeah, you speak about Emma Jorgensen. She's an extremely talented paddler, very fish and technique very consistent, has two Olympic medals to her name and still such a young athlete. Yeah, incredibly. She was, she's so young when she was in uh, in London in 2012. Look, out, look at the gap there between Carrington and Fisher. That was early on. Lisa Carrington putting her stamp on the race very early on and making uh, Fisher work hard to try and drag her in. I don't know that Fisher could have done much more to, uh, to get on top of her New Zealand teammate, but gee, Look at that. That is uh, that is the closest finish that Lisa Carrington has had for a long time. So Phenomenal well done. to have such, two such strong athletes from the one nation. Like, Yeah, uh, they're not in the K4 together. They're not in the K2. But could you imagine if they were? One wonders, one only wonders if they come together at some stage, what they could bring to the table. Uh, the New Zealand K4 was very strong yesterday, by the way, um, finishing third. But gee, I think if they could get Fisher into that boat. There's confirmation there. Great race from Elise Wood, picking up a fourth place. That The mums, the new mums, fourth yeah. and fifth there, Jenny. Yeah, for sure. Well done to them. You know, it's been proven that women come back stronger after having babies. And these two women are showing it. And, you know, power.